Hi, and welcome to this series about Proxmox Mail Gateway. Today we're going to perform the initial setup. So first let's navigate to that web configurator. I'm going to specify HTTPS, my server is 192.168.3.15 and the port is 8006. I'm going to ignore the certificate risk here. My username is root and the password that I created during installation. We're going to handle the no subscription later on, but let's take a quick look at what we have here. So this is of course the main dashboard. We can create mail filters, perform some configurations. We have administration. This is more for after the setup is done and some statistics that we can get from Proxmox. So first I'm going to add my mail proxy. I'm gonna to go to default relay, click edit, and I'm going to enter here the IP address of my internal SMTP server. Hit okay. Relay domain, so I'm gonna add here lab.local ports I'm going to leave at default so it's 25 and 26 notice the external SMTP port and the internal SMTP port that's because Proxmox mail gateway is going to handle your outbound going traffic and not just your inbound traffic under options I can add certain parameters for example i can use the dns blacklist sites so this is where you can put for example spam house or some other paid service we're not going to get into transport networks tls so this is where we can of course configure some of the ssl tls traffic dkim for signatures so you want our emails that go out we want to make sure that they go out with our proper DKIM signature. But again, we're not going to get into that right now. And of course, we can create an allow list here as well. Next thing we'll do is take a look at the mail filter rule list. So this is very similar to a firewall rule list. Notice the uh, priority, the direction, whether this rule is active or deactive. Let's take a quick look, for example, at the blacklist rule. So we're going to get the action objects in a minute. We're going to look into those, but we can, of course, swap those out with what we have here on the bottom with these different objects. So, for example, if instead of blacklist, I want to add, I want to remove this and I want to add, let's say, accept. So I can just click on the plus and then it turns into an accept. Of course, I'm going to have to probably change the naming as well. The list of objects can be found here. So these are the different action objects and we can of course edit those as well and we can break it down to who so this will be your block list or allow list different objects such as images office files etc and i can also set up office hours as a filter for the time frame of when I want to receive emails or if I want to handle certain emails that came at certain times differently. That's it for now. I'll see you in the next video. Hey, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to also check the bell icon to make sure you get notifications about new videos just as they come out.